this is Hannah, and remember that mystery moth pupa? Well, today the mystery is being solved. Overnight, the chrysalis changed very rapidly. Just over the hours, it went from being green with light colored wings to having completely black wings and a yellow and black body. It became more and more obvious it was some kind of looper. The chrysalis wiggled and moved very often, eventually repositioning itself away from the stick. A couple hours later, the chrysalis was completely black, and hatching was drawing near. Then the exciting moment came. The mystery moth hatched. Early in the morning, you can see the shell of the pupa starting to break. As our mystery moth begins to hatch. What an exciting moment this is. Unfortunately, I was still in bed during this very exciting time, and I was not awake and there to watch as I wish I would have been. But it's awesome that the tablet was still recording for many hours and caught this amazing moment, which to me is one of the most beautiful times of the life cycle. As you can see, the moth is making very good progress and is breaking out more and more with each pump. Everything appears to be going well and the moth's body is moving inside of the chrysalis to help it get out. Then, when not even fully out, the moth suddenly stops and takes a break, still inside of the chrysalis. But, this is nothing to be worried about. Three months ago, I raised a moth called the Small Moncus Moth. I set up my tablet to record the chrysalis when it was ready to hatch, and it did the same thing. In the middle of hatching, it randomly paused and remained motionless for a few minutes while still in the chrysalis. But, everything went well and after a few minutes, the moth started moving again and got out of its pupa. It then climbed up the stick that I provided. Did the same happen for our mystery moth? After resting for a few minutes, the moth finally starts to move again and make its last steps towards freedom from the chrysalis shell. The moth continues to push itself more and more out of the chrysalis shell, and it is not long at all until the moth grabs on to the leaf. But, instead of the moth going towards the stick that I provided, the moth immediately rushes towards the side of the net to dry its tiny wings. In this time lapse, you can see the moth quickly drying its wings at the top of the screen. It only took about 8 minutes. When the moth's wings are dry and expanded, the moth begins to draw its wings closer and closer together as it prepares to close them. Then the wings finally close. Shortly after the wings have closed, the moth's wings start to space out from each other slowly. After some time, the newly emerged moth finally spreads its wings to fold them in normal resting position. It lightly lifts its wings up and down for a while, even after opening them. So now, our mystery moth has finally emerged and dried its wings. It's definitely some kind of looper, but now I must figure out what kind of looper this is.
Let's see. At first, before the moth emerged, I thought that it could have been a garden looper. So, I compared some images that I found online to the moth that had emerged from the pupa. I also compared my images of this moth, and it's not the same species. The colors and patterns on the two species are different, and the mystery moth appears to be darker and smaller than the green garden looper. I also wanted to see what the green garden looper pupa looks like so that I could compare it to the mystery moth pupa. So, I searched on Google to see if I could find any pictures of the green garden looper moth pupa. But, I can't find any images about the green garden looper's pupa. There are many pictures of the adult green garden looper. But, Despite all the pictures of the adult green garden looper, I can't find any pictures on its pupa. The only pictures of looper pupas I see are the tomato green looper and cabbage looper. I thought that my moth could have been a cabbage looper, but looking at this picture of the pupa, it does not look like the pupa that this mystery moth emerged from. So, what is the mystery moth? I came across some pictures of the pupa of a moth called the soybean looper, and it does look very similar to the pupa that this mystery moth emerged from, so I decided to look it up to see if that was it. This moth does in fact look very similar to the one that I have. Looking at its colors, I think that this moth is a soybean looper moth. What makes me think it's a soybean looper even more is looking at the pictures of its caterpillar. Remember in the previous video I said that I saw an interim that was green and slightly fuzzy? The caterpillar of the soybean looper is green, and if you look closely, you can also see it has some hairs on it, and is a slightly fuzzy inchworm caterpillar. So, I think that I have finally solved the mystery. The moth is a soybean looper. I am so happy that I have now identified this moth. It is no longer a mystery moth, but a soybean looper. Everyone, I absolutely love looper moths. They are such a beautiful and interesting family of moths and they are very unique in their kinds. Many people hate looper moths and try to kill them because in the caterpillar stage they can do a lot of damage to leaves and put a lot of holes in them. But what many people don't realize is that the very caterpillar they are killing because it's putting holes in their leaves would morph into a beautiful adult moth. And not just that they're very beautiful in the adult stage, but they do a very good job at pollinating and they are really beneficial to nature. I often see them coming out at sunset pollinating the flowers and when I see it, it's something to smile about because they are doing their job in nature and they are pollinating. So I will continue to care for this beautiful lovely moth until it's time to release it. And stay tuned for the next video as it includes some very interesting times of feeding this moth. Bye.